still freaking hot in here. Four lights on me and it's just like burning my face. Hey, what's up guys? David, your Android junkie here at AndroidSpin.com bringing another episode of HTC1S. Yes. Yes, this is our video segments that feature my beloved phone, the HTC One S, and all the little modifications and stuff that I have done to my phone that I want to show you guys. Again, I apologize for not having a video on how to root the phone just yet. I still don't have a working PC. So yes, I'm going to try my best to get a video showing you how to root the phone for you out there, you fellow HTC One S brothers that have not rooted your phone. I will get it out soon, but I thought I'd bring you something pretty freaking awesome. How about a little jelly bean? for the HTC One S. Eh? Got you excited now. <laughs> what the hell was that? I think my house is haunted. But anyways guys, yeah, um, there's an early alpha build of CM10 floating around out there. There's actually two ROMs. If you look in the XTA threads, there was two ROMs that hardly had anything working, but they just updated the, this CM10 ROM. It's experimental, but they got a lot of things working, and for being an alpha build, not bad. It could actually be a daily driver, and uh, I've been rocking it, you know, for the last couple days, so I thought I'd uh, give you guys a demonstration and see how it's working. So let's look at some Project Butter on the HTC One S. Guys, here we go. Here's my beautiful one S. All smudgy and everything. Let's go ahead and fire this up. Do it now! Hey, there it goes. Let's give it a second here. Sorry, I like to make sound effects. Of course, that's the cyanogen. Uh, it does this little weird blinking thing. Don't even worry about that. I thought, oh, great. Boot loop, boot loop. But it's not a boot loop. It's just the way it is. It says CM9, but it's obviously not. Oh, shiza. It's got to upgrade. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. Going to go ahead and... Fire away on this jelly beanness on the HTC One S ness. You see, we got the lock screen right here. Ah, and it goes away. Love it. It's got everything that Jelly Bean has. It's got the camera. It's got Google Now, and then of course unlock. We'll go ahead and unlock here. Right here, if you could see it, it's kind of a little off. I guess you could say. Let's go a little closer. I do have Apex on here, but uh, we'll just pick the. Uh, regular launcher and as you see it has the always or just once so it's a little bit different probably because apple freaked out about stuff like this bunch of ding dongs anyways all right center but yes works very very nicely as you can see smooth as silk silky silky smooth well butter i guess you could say project butter Let's open that up and yeah, just no lag whatsoever. When I first <laughs> when I first got this on my phone, I was actually working you know, during my lunch, and I just ah uh, ah. Uh, of course, you got your widgets right here. I mean, just look at how fast, how fast you could scroll through that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, the regular launcher doesn't have any settings on it though. It's I don't think it's kind of like Trey Bouchette. Shh. As you see, I just got a notification. There's a notification drop down. It's got the uh, normal CM. Uh, cyanogen toggles right here in the drop down bar. Of course, you got your settings. We can go down here to a bad phone. Let's see what we got here. So, some, as you can see right there, bringing them closer to your face. To my face. Android 4.1.1. Of course. And then let's, let's see it. Let's see it. There's the Easter egg. Oh, don't do that. No, no landscape. Oh, he's angry. He's gonna lose his head. He's gonna lose his head. Or not. Alright, so maybe the Easter egg doesn't work as well. It worked good the other day. Of 
course, it's got the nice, smooth, awesome uh, new Jelly Bean transitions. Uh, you got your um, accounts right here. I noticed this was something new with Jelly Bean. Um, in your settings, you got your accounts. So you got like, like I got my Facebook and my Google account. And of course, you can add an account, which is pretty cool. That's something new they added to Jelly Bean, which I'm sure some of you have already seen. As you see, everything's working. I know some early builds, uh, the data wasn't working and Wi-Fi wasn't working. As you see, I am on Wi-Fi right now. It works great. Nothing wrong with that. Music player, Google Music plays pretty well right now. Of course, it's uh, not. There we go. A little bit of Slayer. Nothing wrong with that. Devil. It's the devil's music. All right. Browser works like just buttery smooth. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, of course, here's the Jelly Bean keyboard. Not really too fond of it. I think I just because I'm. I don't know. It's it's it looks just like almost like the. Uh, like the ICS keyboard, so, but as you can see, it's fast. Wi Fi is working pretty well. My Wi Fi is sucking right now, maybe. It's pretty slow. Let's go ahead and add a widget here. Let's see. That's pretty cool. That's just HD widgets, which I love. As you can see, boom, right there. I know it does that resize thing too, which is pretty cool. It's just, it's amazing how smooth this thing is. And of course you can resize. Pretty moon. The battery life really sucks. <laughs> it's not that good. Um, when I was just on my Wi-Fi at home, barely using it, maybe, you know, texting, maybe playing a little bit of like games and blah, blah, blah. It lasted like barely four hours. And it gets really hot after using it for about two minutes. You start really feeling the heat on the back. You know, it's just, so that was kind of a letdown. I guess uh, what everybody really wants to know is how does Google Now work? How tall is Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is five feet, seven inches tall. <laughs> Sad thing is, I'm the same height. But hey, that means I could be Tom Cruise. But yeah, um, Google Now works very well. What was the score of the Giants game? Giants lost to the Padres 6-3. to three. Damn those Giants. Another thing too, it just uh, doesn't have the screen off animation. Just kind of does that. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do that pretty little TV off thing. And uh, let's take a look at the camera. The camera, I, I thought I heard it didn't work, but as you can see, <laughs> like two rock stars right there. So much of a crack at them. And it does that little, you know, pretty nice. You yeah, cute little puppy. Yeah, so camera works really well. Uh, let's see. Let's try the video camera. As you see, video camera doesn't really work though. Yeah, and YouTube. It's got all the transitions. Got nothing glitchy about anything like that. So let's click this one. But on YouTube, when you go into landscape mode, there's no toggles. You can't do anything about it. You can't fast forward, you can't stop or anything like that. Which is not a big thing, but that's, you know, when you're watching something in the landscape, you want to be able to do that. Um, I, I've just been playing it for about a day and a half, so, um, let's see. I even, like I said, I even loaded Apex on here just once. These are like what I usually have, but... As you can see, it's just loading up right there. But with my normal stuff that I have on it, it runs fine. It runs beautiful. But yeah, Apex works really good, as you can see. Scrolling through really well and everything. So, like I said, the only real problems I had was, you know, battery. And right now, I can already feel the heat. The heat is on. Yeah, palms are getting sweaty. Could be just because I'm excited to have it. But main thing is battery. Battery life was pretty crappy and uh, it gets hot. And video camera doesn't work. YouTube toggles, you know, not much. It, it, could, it very well can be a daily driver. But yeah, this is just a little bit of Jelly Bean on the HTC One S. Well, all right, guys, there you go. A little bit of Jelly Bean on the HTC One S. As soon as it's uh, rocking pretty good, um, I'll let you guys know. Follow me on Twitter or uh, Google Plus, and I'll sh be sure to uh, post a link or anything like that when I find out when it's, like, really awesome, just full of awesome. I still hate the taste of jelly. <laughs>
was that? Anybody else creeped out? Because I'm a little creeped out. That's what I get for not liking jelly beans. I'm just kidding. Well, all right, guys, I am David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been another episode of HTC1S Ness. Thank you for watching.